If you've tried to use the wah pedal or any other effect while actually playing an instrument here in GarageBand, you'll know that it's really tricky to do. You kind of need a third hand to do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very cool tip that is going to help you record a cool wah guitar sound. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music and we're back here in GarageBand again because I get asked a lot about how to actually record a good guitar sound using our smart guitar. So we're going to add a guitar, we're going to tap on the guitar here in the top left, we're going to tap this one and make sure we are using the Retro Wah. Now that is going to be right there in the middle if you're on an iPad. First thing we want to do is get rid of our chords here so that we can get to our guitar. And now you'll know that we can actually tap on these and slide our fingers around and play it. And uh, I'm using my mouse here for the first time, so I'm mousing my guitar. But you can also use two fingers to actually play two different notes or any number of fingers and use two hands. You can actually get some pretty complex parts. The problem comes in when you want to actually use something like a wah pedal. So if we tap in the top left up here, sorry, top right up here and bring in our wah, we can play with one hand and we can wah with the other hand. But we can't really do the two at once unless you kind of trying to stretch around between there. And you're only going to be able to use one hand while you actually play your wah pedal. So what can we do with this? We can use a very cool function that's actually really useful for a lot of things, but it's going to help us out here. And that is our merge recordings option, not the merge function to merge our tracks, but our merge recordings. So we're going to tap here in the top left, go to our mixer icon. We're going to go to track settings up the top here, tap on recording and turn merge recordings from off to on. Now, what Merge Recordings does is that when we are actually recording, we can record one pass through, and then whatever we record on the second pass gets merged. Instead of replacing the original track, it will get merged. I'll show you what I mean as we go through here, but you're probably already ahead of me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the record button, and the beauty part of this also is that we'll turn the wah off, and we can now tap on this in the top right and get all six of our strings back. So we can actually play a proper piece now because we don't have to be dodging this and only using our top three strings so that we have access to our wah pedal up here. So wah is off, come back to here, let's hit record and record in the guitar part that we want and then we can come back and add the wah afterwards. Let's do that now. And there we go. The first and probably only time I'll ever play the touch guitar with a mouse. It wasn't the easiest thing to do, but hey, kind of fun. Right, so what we can do now, we'll make sure that we have this merge recording set to on. Again, in here, merge recordings is on. We're all good to go. Now what we can do is we can tap on our icon here, turn on our wah, and now we're going to play this back, but we're going to hit the record button. It'll play our original take, and then we can record in our wah. Yes, it's as cool as it sounds. Let's show you this now. We'll hit record and start wiring. And there you go, we've now got those two parts together. If we come back to our track view, we can see that we just have our guitar here, but it's actually the two parts smooshed together. And then when we play it back, we'll just solo, take a listen. So there you go, we've got our playing, we've got our wiring. Not the best playing or wiring, but that's okay. Is wiring a word? Anyway, a big shout out to KR, one of my viewers. We've been chatting back and forth uh, here on the channel and then via email trying to crack this one. And this is, I think, the best solution that we've found so far for this. And I will link to their music on SoundCloud because it's very cool. You should definitely check that out. That is going to do it for this one. Again, a very simple and effective one. And yes, this does work for all other manner of things. You can use your organ, you can automate your rotation. 
rotation, any other effects that you want to add in and out, you can actually do that using this method by turning your merge recordings on and then playing back that part. It's not just good for wah, it's good for other things. And maybe we'll explore those in future videos. Speaking of other videos, there are two linked right down below. There's a subscribe button that you can tap or click and that will keep you up to date with all the videos here on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.